Hey guys, like what you see? What if I told you I made this game for free in under 30 minutes using nothing but AI tools? That's right. With Midjourney, Tripo 3D, Meshi, and Unity free assets, we built a fully playable 3D game from scratch. No coding, no budget, just pure AI power. I'll show you step by step how we did it, what went wrong, and how you can do it even better. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get started. I'm gonna create an imaginary game called Vortex Adventures and show you exactly how I did it, how I came up with the character, how I created 3D models using Tripo 3D, and how I made everything work. What mistakes I did so you can avoid my mistakes and, and make everything smooth and perfect from the start. So let's get started. First, we need to come up with a concept of the character. In my case, it will be a third person game uh, with an, uh, beautiful surroundings. And the main character will be this female robotic woman from the future. And this is the concept that I came up with. Looks very cool, very impressive, and Midjourney helped me to come up with the character and the concept and the artwork. Uh, so based on Midjourney concept, this is the character that I came up with. And here is the main mistake, I, and here's the first mistake that I did. I created my character in the wrong pose and I made it only half of the legs, not the full body. So when I got this model in the Tripo, you can see the problem is the model is generated without the legs. Okay, let's try again. All right, this was my second attempt. It was a full body of the character and this is how it looked. And now when I put it to Tripo, I realized I made another mistake. I put the character from the wrong view. I put it from the back and you actually need to put from the front because when you rig it and when you make it walk, look what happened. It started to walk backwards. Oh my goodness, look at that. You see what I did guys? I messed up again. Next, I decided to make a full body and front view of my character and it looked like this. I realized that I made another mistake. I put the legs too close together and hands as well and everything became squeezed. Look at that. You can see all the legs are squeezed together. The problem is your model must be in the T pose. It's when the character puts the hands straight on the sides. To solve this issue, I went to free pick, which allows you to edit images. First of all, I needed to change uh, the resolution and aspect ratio and I added the sides so we can stretch the arms. Next, I used AI editing tools to change the position of the arms into the T pose. Arms in a T pose. The correct pose should be like this. And now we can upscale the image and then we can save it. This is the final one that I'm gonna use. You can see I removed the background and it's a T pose as well. It's not perfect. Uh, because it has too much sunlight on the arm, but it's okay for my experiment. Now we're gonna generate our model textures and rigging. Let's go to Tripo and then click image to 3D. Here, you drag and drop or upload your image. And in a few minutes, our model is ready and looks amazing. Next, we need to texture it. You click texture and then you can choose style reference. You can try different ones or you can use your own texture as a reference. You can see I tried several one and this one uh, looks really good to me. You can see the quality of the model is just amazing, guys. If we check wireframe, it's high quality model and it's just well made and perfect. This is how it looks without textures. Look at the all details. It's just amazing work and it's fully automated. As you can see, I tried several different textures, different styles, and see which one works better for my game. You can try this, you can try that. Different styles, different style references, and choose the one you like. And finally, we can click rigging, and here you can generate the skeleton. You can see it's automatically generated skeleton from a model and it can already generate standard animations like walking, running, climbing, diving, falling, hurting, idle, jump, shooting, slashing, and turning. Next, click export. And here you can choose the format. For example, FBX. And you can even export skeleton and UV as well. 
and your model is ready to be saved and exported into your project in Unity Unreal Engine or whatever game engine you're using. All right, and now I will show you one more alternative solution. You can try the new model by Meshi. Meshi is also one of the best image to 3D and text to 3D generators on the market right now. So let's go to Meshi and try it out. Click image to 3D. Now on the left side, we need just to paste our image. There you go. You can put a name, Cyborg Serenity, and this is a new model they just released, Meshi 5. This is really good next generation quality, guys. And then click Generate. All right, once generation is complete, we have four previews. And you can see one of them is kind of buggy and few of them are really good. So we can double check which one we like and we can pick one for further improvements. Let's pick this one, for example, and then click Confirm. And we also want it to generate the texture. Let's go. And there you have it, guys. It looks really amazing. Look at this highest quality we got. It's just outstanding. Finally, we can click Rig. And what we need to do is to rig our character now. It's a humanoid, then click Next. All right, the position is correct. And now let's just place the markers on the corresponding positions. All right, and now click Confirm. As you can see, the model is perfectly rigged. It's moving, it's working, it looks amazing. And now on the left side, we can choose and add additional animations as well. For example, we will need walking animation, running animation, idle, and fighting. And there you go. Our animation is added and it looks amazing. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments below if you like what you see here. Now, the final step, once you have all animations, click download. And now you need to select rigged character and you can download all animations that we added, including the skin. And then click to download in FBX format and GLB format as well. Download and it's ready to go. The next step, we need a free Unity kit. I found this one to be really amazing that fits the style of Vortex Adventures. You can download it for free on Unity Store. And now let's open this project in Unity. And what we need to do is change the title of our project in the main menu. And also, we need to adjust and put our new model instead of the standard one. And, and we can apply all the animations here as well. And there, that's pretty much it. Then we can export our project as a executable, playable game, ready to be played. Once the export is complete, our game, Vortex Adventures, is ready to be played. So guys, let me know if you like the game, what you think about it, and which game you're gonna do with AI. And if you wanna play this game, the link will be in the description below. You can download the game and play it yourself. That's all for today, and let's start playing Vortex Adventures together. All right, let's play Vortex Adventures together. This is actual gameplay now, not AI, guys. Let's go. Looks amazing. The model we made perfectly fits the style of this free Unity asset game. Don't you agree? Let's go explore. Oh. All right, guys, here is our weapon. Let's break some boxes and kick some ass.
And here's our first quest. Time to do some exploration and find a button to open that door. Another door, another quest. Let's go find the button. The graphics are just fantastic. What a view. And this must be level one final boss, Let's Dance. There you have it, guys. Level complete. Remember, link in the description. All right, that's all for today, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.